Okay, good morning, welcome to Fun Math number 65. Fun Math number 65. So today, since I have to go to work a little early today, instead of doing a problem, we're going to do a quick little lecture about geometry. Okay? Yep. Um, we've, we're going to learn about lines and angles. So I've drawn a line here, and I'm going to draw another line that comes like this. And it makes an angle X here. And these are both straight lines, even though on the board they're a little, little wiggly. So if this makes an angle X, how are we going to figure out what this angle here is? What's the geometric insight that we can have? Well, angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. Okay. This angle is 180 minus X. 180 minus X. Okay, very good. <coughs> because this angle here plus this angle here form a straight line. So they have to add up to 180. So if this is x, this is 180 minus x, because 180 minus x plus x equals 180. 180. Super duper. Now what about this angle here? Well, we have another straight line here. Okay. So, and this angle is 180 minus x, so this angle is also x. And why is that? Because angles on a straight line end up at 180. Okay, because we have this tilted straight line here. Would you mind tilting? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this straight line here has an angle that we know is already 180 minus x, and we know the angles on the straight line have to add up to 180, so that's x. And that tells us a neat fact, that these opposite angles, when two straight lines intersect, are the same. Are the? Same. Same. So this one's 180 minus x. That one's 180 minus x for both of the same reasons we talked about. One, it's an opposite angle. And two, it has to add up to 180 when you do it there. Okay? Yep. So that's, that's a neat little simple geometric fact about intersecting lines. Or, yeah, yeah about intersecting lines. Now we have another concept in geometry called parallel lines. And parallel lines are two lines in a plane, like on the, on the, I was going to say the chalkboard, but this isn't really a chalkboard, what is it? It's a whiteboard. Well, it's a, it's a, it's a sort of, it's a dirty whiteboard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a gray board. Yeah, it's a gray board. So, when I have parallel lines here that run, and they're always the same distance apart, and they never intersect, and when a, when a line intersects both of those, what math symbol does that look like? Not equals. <laughs> not equals. It makes a not equal symbol. So we already learned about, we just learned just now about these angles. If that's x, this is x, x, and 180 minus x. But if you slide this down, this over here becomes this. Right, because they're parallel, I can just slide this angle up here, and I get exactly the same angles. So we learned a neat fact. We learned a couple, <coughs> a couple neat facts this morning. Because straight lines add up, straight line angles add up to 180, we get this. And because of the geometric insight of just saying, well, if these two lines are parallel, that means if I slide this, ang this line up here, I get exactly this line. That means these angles must be the same down here. That's, the ge that's kind of how to think about it geometrically. So we get this whole set of angles just translates down here with parallel lines. So that's pretty neat. So that's, that's what the next section is we're going to be studying. And we were going to talk about that much more in depth today if I didn't have to go to work early. But instead, we'll just leave it at that. Okay? Yep. High five. <laughs>